Hello friends, uh, let us uh, learn how to construct Fisher's price index number. Before that, let us revise the formula once. Uh, Fisher's ideal index number formula is square root of summation P1 Q0 by summation P0 Q0 into summation P1 Q1 by summation P0 Q1 into 100. And alternatively, you can work out like a square root of last pair's price index number into past year's price index number because the first part is the formula given by last pair and the second part is the formula given by past year. Therefore, you can calculate Fisher's index number with the help of alternative formula that is square root of L into P. Right, let's uh, take an example and see how to construct uh, Fisher's price index number. Uh, here is a sum. They have given uh, four different commodities A, B, C and D and the price and quantity details for two different years are given here 2000 and 2001. In the year 2000 they have given price which you should be taking as base year because it is the oldest year and 2001 is the latest one. Always latest year should be taken as current year. Current year's price is P1 and base year's price is represented by P0. On the other hand, uh, base year quantity is Q0 and uh, current year quantity is Q1. So we have all the four details available here. P1, P0, Q1 and Q0. Proceed with the answer. Uh, see, we have prepared a table here. The first column is commodity A, B, C, D. And the next four columns, P0, Q0, P1 and Q1. E nalaku columns ukuda namage question alien koti dare ade. P0 andre base year du price. That means 2000 year du price e sammali. Q0 andre base year du quantity. 2000 du quantity. And P1 is 2001 current year price. And Q1 is current year quantity. So first four, five columns ukuda namage. Question layer on that. Next column P0 Q0 idiala. This is nothing but the multiplication between P0 and Q0. In the first case, you can see P0 is 2 and Q0 is 8, that is 2 into 8, 16. On the other hand, 5 into 12, 60. 4 into 15, 60. 2 into 18, 36. So P0 Q0 column I do adana add madi it koli. Next P0 Q1 adunu hagene P0. P0 Q1 multiply mod koli that is 2 into 5 10 same L numbers on other iti multiply mod kondu add mod koli next next column is P1 Q0 uh, P1 Q0 no other iti mod koli P1 column is multiplied with Q0 column multiply and add all the answers next uh, last one P1 and Q1 that is nothing but the multiplication between P1 and Q1. 4 into 5, 20. 6 into 10, 60. In the same manner, you multiply all the numbers and get the totals. So, Bandiro totals in the, we are going to apply our Fisher's price index number formula. See? Square root of uh, summation P1 Q0 by P0 Q0 into summation P1 Q1 by P0 Q1. So, we have all these four items, P1, Q0, P1, Q1, P0, Q0. These four items are now in the previous table calculation. If you see, see, P0, Q0, P0, Q1, P1, Q0 and P1, Q1. So, these four columns are calculated. All these four totals are now taken. You can place it in the formula. Right. See? So, our numbers in the formula that we apply mod kondu, you can just proceed with calculation and you are able to find out the Fisher's ideal index number. That is 147.3. Just try it yourself. Any doubts, we will come with another video.